Hello and welcome to another episode of Not Your Dad's Beer, your host, Mark Bays, but today you can call me Gibbs. Avery Brewing has gone to the depths of hell this Halloween and retrieved the essence of the devil himself, the beast. Coming in at 16.83% in the 12 ounce bottle, this is no joke my friends, and one of the best beers out there for the holidays. I picked up and procured my beast from the Argonauts himself with the wine and liquors in Denver, Colorado. But for you today, I shall open one and let the madness spread and you shall see what will happen when you enjoy the beast. Stay tuned, my friends, and we shall see how the essence of the devil himself pours into a glass, smells, tastes, the effects and the frenzies it does upon mankind himself, and why Avery Brewing only goes to hell itself once a year to bring back the grand crew, the beast. <laughs> right off the bat it has perfect ruby hues to it very beautiful and enticing and entrancing the head itself is quite low very tight softy frothy little bubbles and this is a slightly khaki off-white head the combination is damn near perfect with brilliant brilliant colors it looks just like the jewels in my treasure chest bright bright rubies this will be an amazing beer Grand Cru, indeed. Ah, oh, it's delicious, just as the devil should be. The beast at 16.83% is definitely there. You taste the booze. He does not hold back his essence. Immediately, dark concentrated fruits, literally like raisins and, and figs wrapped up in sugar and just left to become concentrated and then barrel aged. I mean, you definitely get the strong oaky presence on the side of the palate. In the very back, there's a warm, hot alky alcohol booziness finished up with just oak, heavy, heavy charred oak chips. This is not a light beer, my friends, definitely a sipper. When Avery Brewing first went to hell and pulled back the essence of Hades himself, they bit off a little bit more than they could chew with a 22 ounce bomber at 18%. Every year they have gone back to the depths of hell to release yet another version. The alcohol present from the essence of the beast itself has changed and, and evolved. This year, at 16 points, well, 8.3, almost, almost 17, 18%. It's still quite lively and big. Now, the good thing though, about finding such a beer on a black market in a small form versus a large will they age quicklier, much more quickly. You will find that the booziness will cut back over time, the sweet molasses fruits will come forth in the essence of truly the seducer himself and the devourer of men and souls. This, my friends, is not a beer for the light-hearted, nor those who drink the macro-brewed beers that are on the market. No, this, this is a fine glass of wine or an excellent brandy or possibly one of the best ports that exist. Yet it's not this craft beer, and it's the beast. On my pirate ship in the middle of the ocean, during the squall itself, is when I would drink this beer. I would share it amongst my crew members. It's the last testament to what we do. We are pirates. We would be enjoying this beer over a fine meal, the finest pheasants that one could find, and bored, and pig, and like, and roasted with the apple in the mouth. We'd share this beer. Each one would have their own, mind you. We would not share per bottle. No, too rare of an experience, my friends. We would like to feel the intoxication of the beast itself before our final moments at the sea. So for you, land dwellers, with, when should you drink this beer? The first heavy snowfall under a leather chair with a beautiful cigar and perhaps really a roaring fire. One of which, when you stare into the face of Hades himself, will come forth to claim what is rightfully his. The beast itself is no joke, and it shouldn't be a joke to you either. Go, pick up them. Every year they release the beast in limited amount of quantities, and you should be buying six packs at eight dollars a piece and aging it. If you don't wish for the experience in your own home, maybe you lack the hearth and the leather chair and the fine cigars, then come to a place such as Euclid Hall. 
a beer bar that specializes in only the most luxurious of beers, such as this ruby fine, gorgeous beer, and enjoy it here while it's still here. It won't be around long, and it only comes out once a year, and every year it's a slightly different, so in order to taste the essence of the beast, one must have multiple versions of it. And that should be what you do, my friends. Sell the devil away for a rainy day, the first snowfall, or a squall in the middle of the ocean. Avery Brewing, the beast. From the depths of hell, in the Hades hearts and soul, and the essence of the beast itself comes this lovely little bottle. Not reserved for mere mortal men's and possibly only gods and pirates like myself. With that being said, if you dare try Avery Brewing's The Beast, remember, this is not your dad's beer. Thank you.